All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's charting session. No, uh, sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam what we do here, uh, we take a look at yung mga trending names and we get that list po from Investagrams. You usually find it on the right hand side of your screen, or we do chart requests. Usually, it's a mixture of both, and today's no different po, no? Uh, nagkamali ako ng konti sa announcement ko kahapon, kulang sa tulog, nahilo ko. What I meant to say was, Monday to Friday, we will have our daily charting sessions. Then on the weekends, uh, on Saturday, it's when we'll have our weekly market overview. Sorry, brain fart, no? Tumatanda na masyado, ha? Kailangan na maraming tulog ng tito nyo, ha? Okay, so let's start. Uh, we'll start with GMA7 today. So GMA7 was a requested chart. So ano nga ba nangyayari sa GMA7? Uh, the last time we looked at this, I mentioned it was good na nag-hold so far tong uh, white zone na to sa baba. However, ang uh, nangyayari ngayon is itong previous support here is nag act as resistance. So what we want to see is sooner rather than later, ma-retake tong level na to. So around 15 pesos. Kung pwede mag-pull back kung gusto niya, mag-hold then see if we can push higher from there. Okay, yun yung ideal na bullish na scenario. Siyempre, pwede rin naman na tumuloy lang siya, mag-breakout na lang dire-diretso, pwede rin naman. But for now, uh, ang immediate na gusto kong makita is ma-retake to, mga 15 pesos na level para lang masabi natin that we can start trading above this previous area of support. Okay, na nagiging resistance ngayon and we wanna see price hold above that. Ang ayaw nating makita is for price to break down, break below this white zone kasi that opens up this area here to possibly trade in moving forward and baka maipit na from there, baka mag-push na tayo ng lower. Although, in the bigger picture of things, we have to remember na ito yung range from before. So, hindi nakakagulat din kung mag-range tayo ulit doon ngayon. It's just that it's not gonna look as bullish as most people, including myself, would want it to look kung ganun yung mangyari. Kasi baka, mang, uh, baka matagalan, bumuelo muna, maybe it wants to wait for uh, mas malapit na election or something, we don't know. Okay, so for now, nood-nood muna, let's see what it does. And let's just prepare based on mga scenarios na tinignan natin. Uh, next, let's take a quick look at Aji. No? So Aji, I mentioned na we were still trading essentially within this range here, which is essentially within this larger range here. So essentially, nasa chop pa rin. Sorry, lumagpas. Nasa chop pa rin yung Aji. Okay? Uh, it's good na it was able to break out of itong area of consolidation here. Puro overshoots nga lang, no? So baka gumaya siya sa before na mag-overshoot tayo at bumalik lang tayo sa range na yan. Baka rin, ito na yung sinyalis, sinyalis na hinihintay niya na we can start trading within this upper bounds ng range na to. Then we can finally break above 11.5 and push higher from there. What we don't want to see is for price to break down nitong 10.12 kasi baka next time na bumabayan dyan, hindi lang overshoot na parang ganito abutin natin. Kung hindi, baka matrap na tayo sa lower end of this trading range either there or this wider one here. Okay? So yun yung iniiwasan nating makita sa Aji. Again, it could consolidate here. For me, that's more bullish than bearish but syempre, gusto pa rin talaga natin kung kaya ma-break na tong 11.5 and we start printing new 52-week highs, no? Para talagang tumulak na yung Aji. Kung may hawa kayo ng Aji, kung kunwari nakabili kayo sa mga dips dito sa lower portions, then of course, congratulations. Just be sure na i-trail niyo yung mga stops nyo ng maayos. Okay? Kung trail stop ay ma-hit, ay di na-hit. Labas tayo. Huwag nating ipilit. Okay? Uh, next, let's take a quick look at FA. So far, I mentioned na we wanted to see it break above tong mga 93, no? 90 to 93 area. And it did. Kaso, ang liit lang nung angat niya. ba? Parang 93 to, nag-close to 94. Itong candle na to. We open the next day, 94 ulit, tapos wala na. Hindi kinaya. We broke back down below 90. Today, we tried to trade above 90. Hindi kinaya, then nag-push down na naman. So from here, ang pwede nating mas makita is possible na bumalik tayo ulit sa maliit na trading range na to. Tingnan natin kung mag-hold tong support area na to in confluence with itong trend line. Okay? But kung mabasag yung support na yan altogether, so, 80, so 79 to 80 cents, kapag mabasag yan, then maybe we revisit 66 soon. 
Okay, so yun yung ayaw nating makita. Diba? So nagkaroon ta ng konting good news, na gap up. Tapos sabi nga natin noon, at dito pa lang tayo tumingin noon eh, sabi natin hindi nag-react agad sa balita, it might take time and it did. It gapped up the next day tapos uh, wala, nag ano ulit no, nag-fade ulit. So that's just something to watch out for. Ang gusto natin sana makita is mag-form na to ng higher low. Okay, so ito na yung high mo eh, di ba? High, higher, high, low. Kaya bang mag-form ng higher low? Then push higher from there, break that. Maybe target tong 1.06 na resistance level. Di ba? Yun yung gusto natin makita. And if we can break above 1.06, as mentioned before, it opens up this trading range here. This wider trading range. Again, just because sa nag-open up yan, uh, hindi ibig sabihin ng mga minor resistance levels here and here, mga ganun, i-ignore na natin. No? Bakit yan? Kasi may extension tayo papunta rito. Na ignore na natin yun. Siyempre, kailangan pa rin natin siyang bantayan. It's just that it opens up that possibility moving forward as compared to ngayon na talagang wala pa. Untog pa tayo. Okay? Uh, guys, uh, paalala ko lang ulit that if you enjoy these videos, if you find them educational or helpful, or even mildly entertaining, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, it's one of the few ways for me to ascertain kung talaga nga bang nakakatulong tong mga video sa inyo kasi yun naman talaga yung goal natin na makatulong sa lahat at the same time, nag enjoy din ako magturo. Okay? Tapos guys, kung meron kayong mga chart requests, be sure to note them in the comment section below because I do read all of them and I do try na mapagbigyan lahat ng nagre-request. Or kung meron kayong mga tanong, note them down as well. Uh, note them down as well. Uh, dun sa comment section because I do try to answer all of them as much as I can. Okay? Uh, moving on, let's take a quick look at ASIN. So ASIN, ang sabi natin nun, possibly nagbubuo siya ng parang head and shoulders pattern. Diba? Um, we were worried na since hindi pa nababasag ulit tong high na to, na possible na ang ginagawa niya lang is nag-bounce, mag-hold to, tapos tutulak ulit pababa. For now, yun nga yung ginagawa niya. Okay? So what we don't want to see is mabasag to itong uh, 10.68 to 10.9 na area altogether, which is yung neckline din. Pag nabasag yan, then that opens up the possibility to tag 10 pesos, 9.6, and maybe even lower kung masunod yung pattern target nung head and shoulders. Okay? So, yun yung bearish na scenario. Ang bullish scenario is price fights back. At the very least, we take out tong high ng right shoulder na to. Push above uh, itong 12.4 to 12.5 na area. Then from there, it's highly likely na at the very least man lang matag natin ulit tong high at 13 pesos. And if we can break that, of course, then that opens up uh, yung higher moves, no? Uh, new high na naman, so malamang tutulak na naman yan, and so on. But again, if ma-break tong neckline na to, then baka medyo delikado na lalo. Uh, I mentioned before na malamang nung nangyari tong dip na to, marami sa inyo na naka-trail stop, na hit yung trail stop, and nag-take profits na. No? So congratulations. Kung hindi pa kayo nag-take profits from there, I hope nung nag-bounce, uh, nag-trim man lang kayo, tapos ngayon pababa ulit, nood-nood lang. Kung kinakailangan mag-trim, kinakailangan mag- uh, trail stop, then do so. Huwag nang mag-atubili. Pwede namang bumalik, walang masama. Okay, yung kinita nyo naman from before, na, quote and quote, mas mababa yung average nyo, kinita nyo pa rin naman yun eh. Pwede naman kayong bumalik kung gumanda na ulit. Okay, and as I said, pwede naman gumanda yan in a blink of an eye eh. Okay, just be sure to honor lang yung mga trail stops nyo para yung kinita nyo, hindi nyo mababalik sa market yung karamihan. Okay? And then finally, let's take a quick look at EMP, no? So, EMP, we're consolidating here sa taas. Okay? I think naghihintay ito ng balita, ano? Um, noong una, sabi ko, it seemed to be forming some type of uh, triangle. Nag-exceed tayo ng konti rito, bumalik lang siya sa loob. So, parang tuloy pa rin naman yung pattern. But whether it's a triangle or whether it's just consolidating, it doesn't matter. The point, of, that the point is, price is compressing. So, naghihintay din sila. Uh, the market is waiting for something bago siya mag-decide kung gusto niyang gumala or hindi. We can argue until we turn blue na ah, yung hinihintay niya is yung fundamental driver na X or yung fundamental driver na Y. But at the end of the day, I think we can all agree na hindi pa siya gumagalaw at meron nga talaga siyang hinihintay. Okay? So, wag nating ipilit. Okay? Kung nakabili kayo sa lows tapos ngayon tumaas na, I am sure 
na karamihan sa inyo hindi pa na take out sa trail stops. So, congratulations sa, sa mga gains nyo. At kung na take out mga kayo sa trail stops, that's okay. Congratulations pa rin sa mga gains nyo, no? Yun naman yung goal natin. Kumita, di ba? Now, what we want to see moving forward is a break above tong 19.2 para mag-open up yung range ulit from there. So, yung 19.2 is taken from here. etong level na to, no? Uh, so, a break above that, 22 yung next possible na resistance natin. Okay? So, that's what we wanna see. Na magkaroon tayo ng breakout dyan. Ang ayaw nating makita, obviously, is your price to break below 17.5. Tag it from underneath. Mag-hold yan. Mag-break down. Form ng new low. Because that confirms na baka dito nga muna tayo sa 16.46 to 17.5. That doesn't mean na hindi na siya bullish. That doesn't mean na hindi pa hindi matutuloy yung mga Uh, fundamental news or drivers niya. It just means na price might want to settle there muna as it waits. So we don't know. We don't know what the price, uh, what the market wants to do. If, however, from here, pati tong 16.4 mabasag and we dig deeper, bumali, bana, nabalikan natin tong 15.18 na area. Pagkakayan, then it starts to look more sad. <laughs> For lack of a better term, no? Uh, mas malungkot siya tignan, parang Uh, for me, papangit talaga. Kumbaga, baka yung mga insider gumagalaw na. But, pwede rin naman kasi na kaya ganun, baka nang papagpag lang. Diba? Nagtatry lang mag-shake ng weak hands. We don't know eh. So, ang gagawin natin dito is next week, we'll be sure. And the weeks after that, we'll be sure na mas bantayan to. I'll try to feature it at least once a week para makita natin kung talaga nga bang gumagalaw yung market against yung gusto natin mangyari. Or, wala, bumibuelo lang talaga siya. Or, baka tumuloy na. So, susubaybayan po natin to ng magkakasama. No? Alright, so guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. I hope na nag-enjoy po kayo at marami kayo natutunan. And as always, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. Good luck and happy trading!